Welcome to Metal Canyon's channel. <laughs> yes, welcome everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon and we will be playing Defense Grid 2. I was really looking forward to this one. I've already Let's Played Defense Grid 1 all those years ago. You can find it on my channel if you go to the playlist. And uh, I would also like to say a big thank you to Slade986 to, uh, for actually uh, gifting this game to me. It was, uh, well, quite uh, unannounced and everything, so there we go. He said that he would like to see a Let's Play of it, so... Here we go. Of course, if you do gift a game to me, there's, you know, I can't give you a definite answer that I will let's play it for various reasons, but, yep, this one I'm definitely gonna play, because I'm really looking forward to it. So this is gonna be completely blind. Let's go with a campaign. I have no idea what's gonna happen or whatever. Prologue threshold. Oh, there's already three missions available. Gun and Inferno Towers are active for this training exercise. Let's go for the training exercise. Uh, story, tower items and command team special weapons are available for use in the mission. Well, that's cool. You can set the difficulty here. We'll probably be playing on normal, so I don't get... Um, well, next. Enables the orbital laser special weapon. General Kai. Oh. How do... Sudden death every few minutes. Do, do I select people, or...? I have no idea! Launch! Greetings, Commander. This message is, message is on repeat. Please assist. I was taken captive during a raid on our power cores. I am enclosing a tight burst encryption with the location of my captivity. We've been trying to hold them off, but my AI colleagues lack the military expertise you and General Fletcher have demonstrated building defenses. Our overall situation is grim. I am not sure when your ship will come into transmission range of the colonies, but my captors believe you to be close. Please hurry and release me. Perhaps with your help we can hope to repel the invaders. Hope. We haven't felt hope for a long time. But since reports indicate you may also have General Kai and Commander Simon with you, well, perhaps you will be... perhaps hope will be possible once again. First though, get me off this asteroid and back to my colony. I must protect them. Greetings, Commander. This message is on I'm repeat. I'm glad you're feeling up to testing your skills once again. Oh, yay. I know I am. As always, I'm here to assist you, Commander. It's the same guy. This simulation will help us hone the skills we'll need should we ever run into those motherless aliens again. I believe it is. Let's him. start with a few tower types and simulated invaders. We'll build towers to protect our virtual cores from being stolen. Just to get the rust off the blade, eh? Cool. Move the mouse to pan your view. Ooh, advanced. Okay, yes, I'm moving it. There are several camera heights you can play from. Rotate the mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the environment. So there we go. It's one, it's two. Oh, you can also do it like this. The cursor turns blue on a tower door where the towers can be built and will be red elsewhere. There we go. This is very cool. I'm so looking forward to this. Left click on a tower door. Select the gun tower from the list by moving the mouse uh, or the mouse wheel and left click to build. Ooh, that's quite a range on this. Inferno. Oh, I like the look of them. Whoa, whoa. That's weird. The mouse is locked um, and you can only move it vertically. That's a weird feeling. All right, so I'm probably, I can also use the uh, mouse scroll. Uh, let's do the gun. This inexpensive tower features a repeating single burst attack effective versus any enemy. Gun tower is moderately effective against all alien types. I like how it builds. They're much different than before. Where the hell is the gun? Oh, there it is. It's on that side. Oh yeah, of course, this is just a simulation. Towers are invincible and have unlimited ammunition. You may place as many as you want as long as you have the resources required. Let's look at them. Of course, they're just holographs now. Oh, the explosion is the same as the from the uh, first one. Oh, look, it's actually um, taking ammunition up. That's pretty cool. Available resources are shown in the upper left. You'll recall the gun tower. Continuous firing. Decent range. A great all-around tower. Then there is the Inferno Tower. A swath of destruction good against large oh. groups of densely packed enemies. Yeah, that looks cool. Different towers also have different ranges of destruction. Watch that closely when you place them. 
Oh, look at them fall apart. I also really like the fact that um, you have health above their heads now. I mean, above them. Uh, was it possible in uh, Defense Grid 1? I, I know you could right-click on them, but I can't remember, remember if you could get uh, health bars permanently on. You might have been. As you recall, towers cost resources to build. You'll gain the resources you need over time. Once you have enough, you can build a new tower on an available build square, or you can perhaps upgrade an existing tower. Now we can already upgrade it. That's pretty cool. That's going to upgrade its uh, attack and range a little bit. Let's do it. Green level base towers can be upgraded to amber level towers. Let's see that. You may now upgrade amber level towers to red level towers. Red level towers are much more powerful, but are very expensive. That thing looks like it's about to fall apart. <laughs> Should the aliens make it to the core housing, they'll steal one or more cores and try to escape. Destroy the aliens before they escape, and I can pull the cores back toward the housing. Yes. If we run out of power cores, our base shuts down. Don't let that happen. Let's have another gun tower. The status of your power cores is shown in the upper left. Blue indicates a core is safe. Amber means stolen but recoverable, and black means the core has been lost. Let's upgrade this one. Oh yeah, I can upgrade to, to red. Yeah. Dual Gatling guns that can effectively attack any enemy. Let's uh, upgrade this one as well. I mean, you shouldn't really upgrade it when there's enemies around. You unless... can place some towers in locations where the aliens would normally march through. Oh yeah, of if course. If you do, the tower will actually block the aliens' path, and they'll choose a different route. <clears throat> yeah. It can be effective to reroute the aliens, especially if you send them closer to your other towers. And by making the aliens take a lengthier path, your nearby towers can attack them for a longer period and do greater damage. Towers placed next to each other, even diagonally, will block alien movement between them. Oh, even diagonally. Interesting. Whoa, that thing is going crazy. Look at it. We can upgrade it to its widest cone of fire damages an area, making it good against groups, but weaker against single aliens. Yep. What does it say about this one? Excuse me. Oh. I know this is just a simulation, but are you sure that's the best place to put that tower? Yes, it is. Oh, for love of... It's a perfectly good place for a tower, Kai. <laughs> Relax, Fletcher. We just always need to push the commander. It's easy to forget that humans need constant training. True hey. indeed. AIs never forget a thing, do we? <laughs> never. Why would we? Well, sometimes forgetting might be a blessing. Well, before I forget, have we reminded the commander about our orbital laser? Oh, yeah. Ah, good call. As General Kai points out, you can fire your special weapon periodically during the attack. Once used, it does take some time to recharge, however. Feel free to give our simulated orbital laser a try. You'll be quite pleased with how the vermin fall to its wrath. How do I activate it? I can see it up there. Press and hold L to fire a special weapon. Releasing it. Uh, oh! Oh! Okay, I see. You don't actually click it, you just uh, press and hold and then it fires after a little while. Five minutes to recharge. That's quite a long time, actually. Look at them burn. Look at them! <laughs> Nice. Excellent. That was Excellent, perfect. Commander. Well done. Commander, Simon reporting. We're coming to an asteroid belt just outside the colonies. Okay. I know we're close to our destination, but I want to check something out. The scanners picked up a tight first encrypted signal that I'd feel better looking into. He's a diligent lad, isn't he? I've trained him since he was a private. Excellent work. I like to also think I've had some influence on the commander, <laughs> which is why I know we're ready for anything. Well, you did in uh, in the first one. Oh, look, we got a golden thingy medal. All right. Um, what exit? I hope it doesn't exit the game. All right, threshold. Scans reveal walkers and swarmers have infiltrated this asteroid mining facility. Gun, inferno, and cannon towers are active for this mission. Already cannon! Holy crap. So apparently you don't get all of them active. Open tower items and command team special weapons are available for use in the mission. Competitive? What's, what's this? Towers cannot be sold. Oh, that's just... 
Okay, never mind. We'll we'll do it just like this. Story. Yeah, let's do story. Look at all this stuff you can have. Coordinated defense, fixed resources, fixed amount of resources. Towers are only active when the build cursor or cores are near it. Whoa. That's weird. Focal point, the cursor causes damage when hovered uh, hovered over aliens. Interesting. No red towers, and so on and so forth. Let's go for the story, of course. Next. <clears throat> ah, so here you select your Death from above. Your uh, whoa, 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 whoa. If you right click, it goes back. Right, here you select your additional AI, I guess. So this is uh, this gives us the orbital laser. Let's go. Launch. Whoa. <clears throat> That's... A formican spoke to me. As I record this, I'm still in shock. It makes as much sense as a dayflower blooming in second winter. At the first contact, the first touch, I thought I had experienced a schism of the mind. You hear of such things. Captains who go too deep into the void and interpret the silence as voices. Yet as the thing spoke, it became clear that I had not schismed. I did not respond. My training has me scout first in new terrain, so I was silent and observed. What is troubling, and I laugh at the idea that anything can be more troubling than a formican that speaks, is how clearly we have underestimated the formicans of this world. This changes all. I wonder if the decision to remain silent was correct. Might I have been a more effective scout if I had answered? I must drop into the void, I think, and seek the answer. I'm guessing these are the AIs talking to us, you know. Commander Shuttle, Whoa. seems like an asteroid mining facility. After a long trip, even this place looks good. Cool. Indeed. We're landing the command shuttle Raffaella now. We'll connect to the grid as we isolate the signal. Interesting. It's actually a level 4 distress call. Precisely the same distress level as my mother-in-law arriving unannounced. <laughs> you really think you should be joking when someone's in trouble? A quip here and there has kept me sane on this long journey of ours, Kai. Well, relatively sane. I'm not sure the commander would agree. Wait, oh no. I see the recon too. Damn, years of deep space travel and the aliens still beat us. Can we fight them here? Checking systems. I can bring three tower types online immediately. Gun, Inferno and Cannon Towers. Precisely. Commander, prepare for invasion. Here they come. Good luck, you three. I think I should have done a... Uh, oh, I can upgrade it here as well. I think I should have done a uh, Inferno Tower there, but it almost looked like you couldn't place it there. Oh, I can barely see these. Oh, you can place them up here as well. Ah. Let's place it over here. These guys are quick. Oh, look at them. The weaker is the basic... Uh, walker is the basic field unit of the alien force. It can carry one core. They have a cannon as well. I like that thing. Ah, you can block it over here as well, of course. No, you're not going there. You shall not pass! And then you can... Uh, block that path as well. And get them past more towers. Let's put another gun tower there. Man, they're not waiting, are they? Get it! That's alright, one core is fine, it'll get back anyway. Ah, and now you can't place it over here, because in the... The long-range cannon tower is slow, but powerful against all alien types. It cannot destroy enemies directly next to it, but it is a great second-row tower. Oh, too bad I placed it over there. Look at that. Alright, I need, I think, more Inferno here. For all these groups that are going, what are these? The Swarmer is a weak alien that comes which uh, which comes in large packs. Area weapons are most are particularly effective against them. They carry one core. Oh, and, and it shows you if they're burning and stuff as well. That's pretty cool. Definitely playing a, uh, placing a cannon tower over there. I wonder if height actually does give you more range as well. I can place a gun... Ah, uh, it's not gonna reach those. That's kind of a shame. Let's place a gun tower here. Can I... Ah, I can uh, press F to speed things up. That's pretty cool as well, just like in the original. I'm going to upgrade the... Yeah, the cannon tower. I'm almost ashamed to say it, 
but it feels good to battle aliens once again. It does, I agree. Yeah, it does. But no shame here. Nothing better than taking one of them off the board. Second that, good to fight with all of you again. You're doing great. I it is indeed. After all this space travel, I expect chasing after aliens feels especially good. Yeah, definitely. Be really nice to go for a run, too. Try not running for about a thousand years. Or for that matter, breathing or taking a bath or... <laughs> Thanks so much for bringing this up. <laughs> hey, you asked me! Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Right, should I upgrade the gun? I probably will. A little late, of course. Because now they're here. Would be nice if the tower is actually operational and shooting. But hey, that fire tower is going to uh, make their day pretty bad here. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's the gun tower. That's not the cannon tower, of course. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to upgrade this one to uh, the red tower. As soon as I can. Because it's got a lot of range over, you know, all of this. I really like the graphics. I mean, they're nothing fancy, but they're, of course, upgraded. There's a lot of lighting effects, and they're just nice. I'm not entirely sure on the design of the towers. They sort of feel like they're, they're about to fall apart when they, uh... How do I get the next one? Um, when they're shooting, you know, they're all wobbly and stuff. But it's cool to see, you know, the ammunition loading and everything. Let's upgrade this. Of course, I have the uh, orbital laser as well. But I'm not going to use it just yet. Don't need it. But man, is it good to be playing this game again. I mean, not... Whoa, that thing is huge. Swarmer aliens travel in packs, making area effect weapons such as the Inferno Tower more effective against them. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't played this game before, but, you know, Defense Grid again. Defense Grid 1 was pretty fantastic. Very, very cool little uh, tower defense game. And now this... Defense Grid 2, man. You know what? I'm just going to have the sound effects a little uh, lower, because they're quite loud. So we can hear something. I actually wanted to put them lower, but I forgot. Right, well, there we go. Yeah, that's a little better, I think. Maybe put music a little higher. Sorry about this. Um, I swear, no more menus after this. There we go. Unless, of course, for the next mission. Let's uh, speed things up a little bit. Now, the, the one thing you have to remember with uh, Defense Grid games is... You can't just relax. You say, oh yeah, you know, they're all getting destroyed, not a problem. That guy fell to pieces. Uh, no, they're gonna come in force, and you have to keep upgrading. I'm gonna upgrade this uh, Inferno Tower a little late, but... Maybe they haven't made it to the colonies nice. yet. Actually, perfect. <sighs> An artificial intelligence can always dream. <laughs> if they haven't made it to the colonies, then we need to make sure the bastards never do. What is it? You're right. We must focus and win. What is that? Look at that cannon tower. It's like it's really cold or something. I don't know. Probably getting uh, cooled by liquid nitrogen or something. It's pretty awesome. Oh, there's more stuff. What to upgrade? Uh, let's upgrade this. And probably upgrade this cannon tower as well. There they are. Lots of them. Yeah, the cannon towers are gonna come in really handy here. You can see how they're getting just destroyed. Look at that. Boom! Whenever this cannon tower shoots, it's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it's going for the uh, the ones that are lowest on health, so it's kind of wasting its shots. Let's upgrade that cannon tower. Bye! More. Rotate the camera by pressing right Q and uh, left E. Oh, there we go. We've already done that. Uh, what next to upgrade? We can't upgrade these... Oh, upgrade unavailable, so there's more! That would be cool. That would be cool. Because I was kind of confused, you know? In the, in the first game, upgrading a tower to the second level only came in later in the game, and upgrading it to red, to level 3, was much later. Um, and over here you have it right at the beginning, so it's kind of, you know, strange. But, I'm looking forward to more upgrades. Yeah, look at all those waves coming in. We'll have to speed things up a little bit. Uh, upgrade this tower. Because it's gonna help against the big guys. So, Kai, Simon was complaining to me about missing a run, I believe it was. <laughs> Seriously? What's up with that? 
Try being a freaking AI. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not what I said. I don't think he could manage it for 10 minutes. Can you imagine his first <laughs> system to frag? <laughs> <laughs> Have they just been... Okay, fine. I'm now scratching my back. That's a low blow, Simon. Back to business at hand. <laughs> well, he's not an AI, so he's... <laughs> ah, he teased them that he can scratch his back. <laughs> that was bloody awesome. And, and the defrag? Have they just been talking about AI sex? <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna upgrade this tower as soon as these guys are passed. There we go. Man, that's a massacre. Let's upgrade that. And maybe upgrade this as well, actually. We're gonna get a lot of swarms later on. As you can see up there. How can I actually... Oh, press P to touch the alien path icon to toggle the alien path display. Oh. Uh, oh, so you can get it small. All things are big. I like this. Very nice. I like it like this. It's uh, it's much nicer to see. For me, anyway. This game is already a lot of fun. <laughs> Love it. Good tower defense games. I don't know, I just dig it. I really like it. Now let's upgrade this one and this one. Bring it on, aliens. I'm wondering how can I bring waves more quickly? I know you can just fast forward, but, you know, is there a way to just get a wave right away? And get some extra money, usually, or stuff like that. Probably the game will tell me later on. Um, got a lot of money that I should probably spend on something. Upgrade that tower. Yeah. Bring it on. More. Right, these are... Let's look at them. Kind of cool, look at them. The walker is the basic field unit of the alien force. Oh my god, do you see the fire thing on it? On the left? Seven, he, it it had, had 70 fire. I don't know, is that 70 applications or something? Oh, in the bottom, look, you even have time to exit. That's pretty cool. Even though it's... Oh yeah, it is going down, there we go. It can carry one core. Man, that's loud. Yeah, you aliens can't really do anything here. Let's have another inferno. We're gonna get more uh, swarms. And one more, actually. Red. The game will automatically save at predetermined checkpoints. If you're defeated, you will be able to resume at the last checkpoint. Which is not necessarily great, because if you screw up, well, the last checkpoint will already be screwed up. Uh, let's have another in... Uh, yeah, let's have another Inferno. Why not? You can never have enough Inferno Towers. Bring it on, aliens. You can go back to earlier save checkpoints by pressing backspace. Ooh, that's something to remember. Look at this huge cannon tower over here. Man. Boom. Oh, these are all... Sort of... Oh, look at them. What are they doing? When they're not shooting... Were they reloading or something? Because if you've seen, it put these two canisters together and started... Oh, if you exit a mission before it ends, your progress will be saved. When you return, you will have the option of resuming where you left off. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Apparently, whenever they reload, they do that cold thing. I don't know. Weird. Look at them. This guy's doing it as well. I don't quite understand what that does. Oh, that's total damage up there, you can see. 26,000. How much damage it already did. That's pretty cool. This one is doing loads, because it's just burning everything. Right, we'll have to start upgrading stuff here as well. It's a cannon tower. Bring it on, aliens. Yeah. Yeah, you can see with all these towers, and yet they're now slowly starting to get through. Of course, they would never get back, because... Uh, they would have to go through all of that again. 
I need to upgrade this one. And then I've got... You know what? I'm gonna bring him... I'm gonna do a... Uh, welcome over here. A warm welcome. With Inferno Towers and lots of gun towers. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, of course. I can also do the uh, laser. I'll probably do that in a little bit. I like how the doors open and close for the towers. That's pretty cool. Nice. That's uh, the second to last wave. Look at that. That is pretty cool. It almost gets out like a cocoon, like out of a cocoon or something. Look at them. <laughs> Get him! It's a good thing I have so many Inferno Towers. You shall not- <laughs> Did you see that tower? It just went poof, 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 And that was it. They were destroyed. Oh yeah, okay, this is the last one, so let's enjoy this a little bit. <laughs> oh man, look at all the money we've gotten. That was awesome. Of course, an easy well level. Well done, Commander. I think that's the last of them. But Fletcher, I have a lock on the distress signal. Finally. Shall we head that way, Commander? We shall. I think we should. Kai, are you all right? I'm fine. There's no one I'd rather fight aliens with. But... If the aliens are here, they probably beat us to the human planets. This could be the last of them. I can't say I'm optimistic, Simon, but one thing at a time. Our first order of business is finding that distress beacon. Shall we, Commander? Ah, oh, see, this is cool. Make strongest alien in range the highest priority target and inflicts an additional 20% damage. But it seems that's for the Inferno Tower. I really want this for the uh, Cannon Tower. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we need for the Cannon Towers. Excellent. What happens if you change the graph? Nothing. Okay, so we're blah blah blah, blah blah blah, destroying them. Bang. 70k. 80k. What's up there? Probably nothing. Alright. That was you cool. made it back safely, I see. Brilliant. I did. Reports of a new charging rhino alien type are coming in from the Deep Orbit Supply Station. This base contains ample build locations. They must have anticipated heavy alien attacks when they build the place. Uh, laser and boost towers are now active. Oh, I love the laser towers. They're pretty cool. I can't wait to see how they look like. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. And uh, we will definitely continue next time. Join me then in the next part. Bye-bye.